<laughs> what is that? Beautiful. That sound is leaves falling. I'm gonna bring Wolfie to the fort for the first time and we're gonna see how it looks. Depending on the condition of it, I think I might do a whole revamp, tear half of it down and rebuild, but we shall see. on the leaves. There's the fort. Can you see it? The color in here is off the charts right now. <laughs> There's literally leaves falling as we stand here. Oh, I love it. I love it. There she is. What's this, eh, bud? Well. Well. Huh. Cam's in the tree from when Emmy and I were here last year target shooting. There's a tripper's old bull. All sorts of cut stumps, just all signs of signs of me. Lots of fallen trees, actually. Look at that! Wow, lots more lumber I can use. Back looks not too bad. This side is good here. This is not good. This can be all fixed. And then most of that's good. There's some jankity pieces up there, but the door is messed up here, that's for sure. We'll fix this up. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Oh, and there's a couple fallen logs there too. Yeah, I don't know. We'll clean it up a bit around and see how it looks. I think what I'll do is uh, spend a couple days fixing this up, <clears throat> making it real nice and hospitable, and then um, do an overnight in it with, with Wolf. Well, I'm just starting to notice all the stuff that did fall. Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably end up revamping it. a ton of like mouse dank mouse dank oh she's gonna come down on me come down on me oh boy oh boy Oh 
dirt down the old uh, dirt down the shirt. All the clothes you see me wearing today and for the past like three years have been revolution race. This jacket, these pants, this sweater, this shirt. It's quality stuff. Very quality stuff. I put my name on it. I love it. I've been using it for a long time. We are at Robinette Outfitters, a distributor in North America of revolution race gear. And not only that, we also carry hikes boots. These guys are awesome. They're worn by like firefighters and combat people. This is uh, a very comfortable boot. I have probably four pairs now. You've seen me wear the Scouts for years as well. And you can find these and tons more at robinetoutfitters.com. The old hidden woodsman bush chair. Do this. <laughs> That's a testament to its durability, I guess. It's been out here for a long time. A long time. I like it with the sunlight in here though, I'll tell you that much. Just for a minute. Okay, well all in all, that's not too bad. I'm missing one here though. Okay, well that's that. He's just been sitting there looking out. What a good boy. Wolfie, what are you doing? You're a good boy. Hey. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi. Yeah, I still got all this really good cherry wood and everything. I should burn some of this today. Well, if that didn't look like a snake at first, eh? Hey? <laughs> All right, the bed's nice. Just use a couple little more poundings in, but poundings in. This is good. I can see. Oh, well, check out my view. Beautiful. Those colors for days. And still very sheltered. But we got to change this up a bit, regardless. Doing. Knocking the sand off this so I don't chip my axe. I've seen sparks come off it before. Pieces of gravel or dirt. All right. See you back, bud. Back. You gotta move because I can't see you here. Good boy.
That is nice. Maybe some more smaller stuff on there, but. Smoke generator. So this tree's been in the way for quite some time. Let's get that down. It's funny, the owner of the property actually told me to take this tree down like a year ago at least. He's like, get rid of that thing, it's in the way of the door. I'm like, yeah, I don't know yet, we'll see, but, because once you take it down, you can't put it back. But it is in the way, and we're in a change in mood, so we're gonna use the council tool, Camp Carver's axe to chop this bad boy down. I did a little bit of personalization to this. I put a bunch of ax wax on it and beeswax and like it's super tacky now and I kind of like burnt some edges and where the logo is and stuff put, put a bunch of beeswax on the top. I, I heated up and just rubbed it all on there to seal it kind of thing but it's nice making it my own. I really do like this axe. We'll go in with the saw after and clean it up. Now this is cedar, so I can't take all the credit for it, but cedar's a soft wood. Chill, big boy. <laughs> Look at that. Freaking little mosquito you got. Super hung up. It's like dwelling inside the other tree. There we go. Hey, look, I found a bone. What's that? What's that? Tripper's old bone. Oh boy. Hey, my plane's back. This is really a truly a old school Joe video. <laughs> All right, we gotta get rid of this thing. smooth as I thought it would be. Nope, all right, perfect. We're gonna get rid of this uh, little stumpy here to make it look all neat and tidy. Mr. Stumpy's gotta go. Wanna get it down as flush as possible with the ground. It's growing on an angle. Might have to cut it a couple times, but. No. 
have to move because it's gonna it's too sharp. You gotta watch out, man. Move. He's not making this easy. Exact spot I was cutting at. Good boy. He snoped. He snoots. take a break on that let Wolfie do what he's doing because I, I like the fact that he's actually doing something not just staring off into the space so um, let's try and fix this I don't know if I'm gonna keep this wall up or not but this has come loose and it needs to be fixed so let's fix this right off the hop all the ant dank it's pretty thick oh man fires going I don't need it to be rip roaring just keep the fire going all day nice and easy it's getting warm, but you can still see your breath. So I, I think this is the this, the shim that fell out. I got my axe to pound it in. Uh, Freaking wall was never great. Never great. Maybe it's time to take it down. But then what do we do? What do we do in lieu of it? We just have it open completely on one side. We'll get a lot of snow in there, I would assume. A stump from hell. I'm down to my saw line. Should be able to hit it over pretty soon with the axe, I think. I've seen three spiders since I started that fire. This one's definitely the biggest. So I assume it's probably a good idea I made a big smoky fire. Drive out all the critters, mice and what have you. Alright, well, we'll leave you there and warm up by the fire, bud. Well, that's all done now. It's almost clean. <laughs> Basket, bud. Make me a cedar bark basket, bud.
hanger. I'd like to make a tea. I've got stuff to make uh, a good lunch out here as well. But I'm not that hungry just yet. I'm getting there. But I think a tea would suffice. Sounds like it's boiling. I don't even think you're actually supposed to have boiling water for tea. I've heard this recently. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. While I was waiting, I cut a big piece off that uh, dense hardwood log there. She's sitting right there. I'm gonna split it down and throw that on the fire while we have our tea. You getting comfy, bud? Oh, husky boy. I was looking online at like characteristics and personality traits of shepherd husky mixes, and you know what they were calling them? Jiberian Shepskis. You gotta love all these crazy names. It's just a freaking mutt. It's just a mutt, bud. And they ain't nothing wrong with that. Jiberian Shepsky. on have our tea and contemplate what we're going to do to this fort we've already done quite a bit today but it's not enough this is nothing really I haven't really fixed it or anything just cleaned it up All right, while well, I've been mulling it over, drinking this tea, and I think I am gonna get rid of this wall. I'm certainly going to leave this support one. This is gonna come down a little bit once I move these. The support one will be here. Um, ah. And I still might make a make, make a wall, wall like that one. This one was just like, I just tried. You know, I had big logs and it was never great. It was never great. So it was a lot of work, if you remember. I had to dig it all out and everything. And they've been standing for a couple years now. Don't get me wrong, it's been fine. I just never really liked it. And it is time for a change. Like I've been saying. Well, I guess I didn't need to pound that little shim in. I'll keep these. These are good. Look at that. That's no joke, man. Hokey smokes. I did some work. Up to my elbow. Oh man. Maybe I can leave a couple. Oh, this one's in there good. None of these are.
めえああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。Man. Hey, buddy. Where'd you come from? Shortage of building materials, I guess. You can really build something else pretty quickly, actually, without having to cut all these logs, measure them, and carry them here, and everything. It saves a ton of work and time. Have turned the ball. Hey, boy. I remember. I remember. What is he going on? What is he going on? Oh, he scratched my face, dude. Wolfie, what are you doing? I'm gonna head up onto the roof and see what it looks like up there. I might, uh, yeah, we'll see. How does it look? Well, we're up here. It's holding up pretty good. I don't know. I'll you know, take the tarp down for now. Let's see. There's all this bark that Jim and Baird, Jim and Baird, Jim and Ted, <laughs> uh, collected, mostly Ted. Well, little more mouse nest stuff. This is ice. What? This is ice. That's crazy. Okay. I think about that. 
definitely make it tight. That would keep the snow from coming out the front, coming in the front. How you doing, boy? That uh, was ugly as sin. Well, I'm getting pretty hungry. I think I'm gonna cook up my lunch. Add some more firewood first, probably. Show you guys what I got. So it was Thanksgiving yesterday for us in Canada, and we had a spiral ham. So I brought myself some spiral ham cut up real small, and some cheese, and some farm fresh eggs, and some homegrown green uh, green pepper. So I'm excited for this meal. I'm gonna cook it in my double boiler style freaking zebra pot poach deal. Put in uh, copious amounts of oil so that your eggs don't stick. A little egg tornado. Salt and pepper we're going to put on too. Okay, I'm excited. Anybody who ever watched uh, old time hockey on TikTok, I think he's from Michigan, but he's just like the most chill dude. Like he's like in a cabin somewhere and just talks to his dogs. Hey buddy, today we're gonna have a diet coke, a diet coke and some cider. Here you go. And he always plays like vintage Sega games or something like. <laughs> Watches like an old VHS of like hockey night in Canada, like 1992. <clears throat> I recommend it. So you'd think that the bagel was smoking, but it's not. It's the piece of wood underneath. Coming through the bagel hole. I brought it right down because the flames have died down. Alright, here's the big reveal. Oh ho, 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 boy! Oh, the cheese is going out. They stay back. <laughs> Got my bagel toasted perfectly. Not burnt at all, all very crispy like. So hopefully we can do this pretty slick. Oh boy. Whatever, that little tiny piece is fine. Look at that. Look at that. What's in here? Cheese, green pepper, eggs, and ham. I do think you can have this actually, buddy. I'll give you some of this too. There's no onions. I don't know about the green peppers, but there's not much of it in there. I can probably just take them out. It's probably not too big a deal. I'm just letting his cool down. He's got uh, that much. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I'm going to put his kibble in there with it. All right. Cheers.
That's super good. Like, oh wow. He's like, what are you doing to me right now? You're tormenting me. Mm. Nope. 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 Any green pepper in there, and I don't even know if it's bad for dogs or not. I don't think it is, but it's the only thing I can think of in there that I don't know for certain. Here you go, buddy. Woof. Do it. He's so weird. He doesn't like to be petted all the time. Like only on his own. Like uh, only when he wants to. Like I'll be laying at home, watch TV with Will on the couch. I'll literally be laying on the couch, and he'll crawl up on top of me and lay on top of me. Like he he likes the attention, likes the affection, on his own terms. So that was what I was trying to think of saying. Oh boy. Do you not like it? Oh, that was on camera. That's nice. Just removing that uh, pot hanger. Douche ourselves in the head again with it. It is. want it to be a clean cut. This is one of the original stumps. Pieces of or trees that I took down. Watch out man. To build the fort. Bam. So now we've got this piece for whatever <laughs> reason. I was hoping it would be dry, but it's certainly not dry. And on God for thee. Oh, Joe Robinette, your dog stands on guard for you. Hey, buddy. You hear your anthem? Did you hear your anthem? I think I'm going to line up some logs to just see what it would look like if I did the same thing as the other side. I want the biggest at the, at the bottom, obviously. I'm gonna try it on the inside first, see how she goes. I might switch it up. Might not even leave it like this, who knows. So, right off the hop, this doesn't line up with this. And there's a big root in the way here. So 
there's a couple things we can do. We can put another big pole here and secure it with rope up there. And that would come and make it uh, flush, plumb, as it were. Or put the fat end on that side, see if it changes anything. I would like the fat end on this side because it'll give me more room still between this and the fire. But no one said we had to, ah, darn, I cut myself. That's why I should be wearing gloves. What do you got? Piece of burn wood? Anyways, nobody said it has to be on the inside. We can always put it on the outside still. So. But that's about as long as it would need to be anyways. Yeah, the outside doesn't really work. It's super slanted and uh, uneven. Slanted and uneven. Um, mister, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 you got all the food already. Everything's gone. There you go. Yeah, and it won't even get close to it because there's this big root here. So I think, I think the move is to put it on the inside. Put some stakes in the ground to hold it as well. Man, that hammer pull, pretty uh, powerful. Seems like it concentrates the whole power to that one spot. All right, so this one's gotta be cut too, but I can do all that after. That's not a big deal. I'll just line it up on the inside. I'm gonna put another stake here, pushing these close to this, yeah. We're gonna throw a big one here on the other side just for now until we can put up the other uh, log just for support. So I want this pushed up as much as possible, I think. Start tying it off to the trees too. Cool, I'm glad we got a plan. That's the whole thing, come out here and start messing around with stuff. And stuff just kinda happens, so happy about that. Happy that we can get the tarp off the top and air dry everything, smoke dry and sun dry before winter. Like there's just so many visitors. So many visitors, you know, but It'll dry things up before the winter when it, it'll freeze. Should be pretty solid and clean. I'm liking it. What are you thinking, big boy? Huh? <laughs> He's like, I want to go do something. Oh, it's surprisingly easy to dig through right there. It's all full of roots and it's just sand. 
Probably good. She's in there, it's in the ground, and tied to there. It's uh, I just gotta tie everything on. I probably don't have to tie these bottom pieces to be honest, but let's get another, uh, well, let's get some more wood on the fire actually. Where's the X? Where's the X it? Oh, there it is. Ugh. Keep feeding this fire just a couple pieces at a time. It's nice to uh, have it going, and it's nice to <clears throat> for the weather to be cool enough out where it's not unbearable to be by it. I am warm, as you can see. Uh, another piece of wood. You gotta see how strong it is. Seems pretty sturdy. Nice. Happy with that. He's been passed out there for the last hour. Oh, maybe he's awake. Laying in the sun though, nice. That's gotta be good for a dog, eh? Just being able to relax in the sun. I think so. I gotta prop this side up for sure. If this is what I'm gonna do. pretty good if I do say so myself that top one's just sitting there it's not gonna stay I do have some bigger ones kicking around and there's still the, uh, the those big down trees that I showed you when we first got here so I think I'm gonna I think I'm done for the day I think I'm gonna go home with Wolfie and come back soon with Wolf and probably Beauty as well so they can run around together and play while I work but if I'm going with this route, I don't hate this too bad. I could put big stakes in or maybe tie off to the roof again uh, and dig into the ground and get a bunch, like, what would it take? Two, three, four, five, five or six more and then be up to here and I wouldn't mind leaving a little space for a window. So, yeah, I'm liking this. I had no idea this is what I was going to do when I came out, but uh, it was pretty cool. So, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're happy that I'm back at the fort. It's pretty pretty cool. I'm pretty happy to be here. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like uh, it's time to be here. So that's what we're doing. Anyways, we'll see you guys soon on the next video. Thanks for watching.
Goodbye. Put on my monkey suit and go around a team.